the problem is in uh, the God of Islam. This is shocking and uh, unfortunately this is the reality uh, about this God. He is a God of torture, he is a God, uh, the deceit God. He, this is what he talks about himself. You are going to make millions, millions upon millions of Muslims very, very angry. I'm not trying to offend uh, Muslims. I love them. Those Muslims are my family. But you are going to offend people and you are going to put your life in danger, aren't you, by doing this? Some of them will be offended. Some of them will be offended. But I am sure, I believe, that many of them will walk up. Some of them will try to kill you. They will. They will. If they will kill me, they will kill this body. But the question, what about my soul? What about my ideas? What about my beliefs that I shared with everybody? Will they be able to kill this? I don't think so. These comments are coming from a man who is not just any Palestinian, but the son of Sheikh Hassan Youssef, one of the founders of Hamas. Mosab Hassan is also a young man who himself, until just a few years ago, was president of the Islamic youth movement. And his denunciations of Islam are harsh and startling. Every Muslim who read the Quran, if they allow themselves to listen to this Quran, and believe in the same time that this is from God, I think they are sick and they need help. I believe that Islam is, is collapsing already. Because it's collapsing? It, yeah, it is collapsing. It looks from the outside, it's growing, but from the inside, it's completely collapsing. It's not uh, giving uh, answers to the people, it's not improving their lives, it's not helping them at all. Within 10 years, that's it. Islam is going to be over. Hamas start to get suspicious about everybody, about themselves, about their wives, about their children, about everybody. If they torture, you're not allowed to say anything. If they uh, kill people, you're not allowed to say anything. If Wait, they teach you, you something they, wrong... They torture and they kill people in the jail? They tortured and they killed people Their in own the jail. people? Their own people. Yeah. Like put noodles. Uh, uh, under their uh, fingernails. They put needles, needles under the fingernails. Needles under their fingernails. Hamas, Hamas leaders, Hamas. Hamas leaders that we see them on the TVs now, okay, and big leaders were responsible for torturing their own members. In studying the Quran, Mosab Hassan found what he calls thousands of inconsistencies. What Muslims, Muslim sheikhs, or religious people do that they focus on only one part of Islam. Which part do they focus on? The part that they need for that time. If it's a war zone, if it's war time, they're talking about jihad. They bring the verses that, so it's like very political religion. And this way, I discovered that the Islam is the most bipolar religion on earth, that you can find whatever you want. So the Quran contradicts itself? In so many ways. Within days of us broadcasting that interview, it spread across the internet like wildfire. Days after that, Al-Qaeda itself stepped up in the absence of Hamas making any comment, criticized Hamas for allowing him to get away from the organization, and then concluded their internet statement by quoting the words of the Prophet Muhammad, chilling words. They said, whoever changes his religion, kill him. That being a reference to the fact that Mosab Hassan not only has left Hamas, but has now turned his back on Islam and converted to Christianity. I love Jesus immediately. Why? Love your enemy. That was the one that moved me from like deep and changed my life forever. I've been suffering for a long time. It's like my medicine became, it's not a drug. It's not uh, given, it's not like Quran. Quran is a drug. The Quran is a drug, you say? Islam is a drug. To be honest with you, uh, being killed is not uh, the worst uh, thing can happen to me. But if my soul is dead, if uh, I feel the responsibility and I don't uh, say a, a word of truth, I will die every day. The biggest terrorist is the God of the Quran. I know this is very dangerous. And I know this is, uh, uh, this will offend uh, many people, but my goal not to offend them. What I'm saying, that the biggest terrorist is 